Ten to the third. No. Okay. I'll do. Okay. I'll go over this one. So zero point zero 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 nine. We want to convert that to scientific notation, which looks like this: a digit, a decimal point, the rest of the digits times ten to the power of some number. Right. So we want the decimal point to be to the right of the first non-zero digit. So we want it to be here. Right. So it, it's here at the moment. So we have to move it over. So we move it over one, two, three four spaces and so the number becomes 9.0 or just 9 times 10 to the power of now it's either 4 or negative 4 well this is a small number so well it's got to be one of your negative powers of 10 right and so that's the answer it's 9 times 10 to the power of negative 4 now I'm going to check that to, to show you all why that is Really quickly, just going to review our powers, our negative powers of 10. So 10 to the negative 1 is 1 over 10 to the power of 1, or 1 over 10, which is actually 0 0.1. Okay, with that one? Yeah. 10 to the negative 2, 1 over 10 squared, 1 hundredth, or 0 0.01. 10 to the negative 3, 1 over 10 cubed, which is a thousandth or 0 0.001. 10 to negative 4, 1 over 10 to the power of 4, 1 10 thousandth, or 0 0.0001. Okay? So, so what we're saying is, so 10 to negative 4 is 0 0.0001. And we have 9 times that. So let's have a look at this. 9 times this, what do you think that would give? Nine times that, that the nine would multiply by this one and you would just get a nine here, right? right. And everything else right. would be the same, right? Okay. right? So that checks out well. If it's 10 to negative four, it's actually this long decimal here. And nine times that long decimal gives us what we began with, right? Right. So, so, so this decimal written in a different way is nine times 10 to the negative four. And so that's correct, right? That's all.